What's going on guys and welcome to today's video and today we are going to do a little junkyard parts scavenger hunting for the Grand Cherokee. Now, now what we are trying to fix is a little problem the Jeep has with smoking. Now guys, if you can see, yes it is a little bit cold out, but a lot of that smoke is oil burn. Now these 4.7 liters, as they get up in the mileage, the valve stem seals start failing. You start to burn oil. When you sit there and idle for too long, they start smoking. Once you drive, it kind of goes away. But again, once you come to a stop again and idle, it builds up, starts burning oil, and you don't look very cool sitting at a stoplight or in a drive-through. Or if you guys have seen any of my off-road videos, you know that this thing does do a little bit of smoking on the trail. So you may be wondering, what are you doing at the salvage yard? You need to get new valve stem seals and replace them. But I figured since we are going to be taking the top valve train apart on this thing, it is a perfect time for an upgrade, for a power upgrade. And that is what we're going to be searching for today. On these old first gen 4.7 liter V8s, the common mod online is to find 2008 and up 4.7 liter camshafts. In 2008 is when they redesigned the 4.7 liter. They got a power bump. The camshafts are the most aggressive factory camshafts possible. They're even a little bit more aggressive than the 4.7 HO camshafts that you could get later years on these Grand Cherokees. So there is one Durango with a 4.7 liter at our local salvage yard. I'm gonna go out there. It's like 30 degrees today, so I'm gonna be freezing to death, but I figured we would get the ball rolling, start collecting parts for this project, and hopefully that will motivate me to fix the smoking issue. So I need to get out to the salvage yard. We're gonna walk up to this thing. Hopefully it's not been ripped apart and already taken, but I guess we'll find out together. So let's get out there. All right, guys, we got out to the salvage yard and I am uh, out walking to try to find these vehicles. We are either looking for a 08 Durango or a 08 Grand Cherokee out here in this mess of vehicles. So I'm going to get out to the uh, Dodges and Jeep area and hopefully we can find some camshafts for this thing. All right, guys, I walked pretty aimlessly for quite a while, but I found the 08 Durango that we were looking for. And at least on a quick glance, it looks to still have the engine in it. So that's at least a good sign. But the unfortunate thing is this thing has fallen off of its back jack. So this front hood engine working height is uh, literally, you know, six plus feet in the air. So. I've built myself kind of a working platform here so we can actually get up into the engine bay and hopefully while we're working it doesn't fall off of uh, the wheels that are propping it up. Now one thing is kind of uh, good to look at if you're going to be taking engine parts is open the door, look in the vehicle. How is the thing taken care of? Is it trashed? Is it nasty? This thing honestly is not in bad shape. The seats are in good shape. It's not torn or abused. It really doesn't look like bad things happened in here. So hopefully that's a good sign that the engine was at least taken care of. Oil changes were kind of routinely done. So I guess I'm gonna throw you guys up on the tripod. I'm gonna start ripping the valve covers off. We're gonna get some cam caps off and see if the uh, bearing surface is still good and hopefully steal some camshafts out of this thing.
that went overly, overly smooth, I must say, even for a salvage yard uh, repair seven feet up off the ground. But as you can see, we've got both camshafts out and I was really surprised there's been no sludge in this thing. All of the uh, cam bearing journals are nice and smooth, nothing terrible. Obviously there's gonna be a little bit of scoring just because it's a engine that's been running. But as you can see, we've got the hot cam sitting here for the Grand Cherokee. And these are supposedly gonna give it a little bit more pep. This is kind of the factory upgrade for the early first generation 4.7s. A bolt-in thing, we may need to put a little bit heavier valve spring, but I figured while we're doing valve stem seals, we probably should be putting a cockier cam in a really high mileage off-road Jeep Grand Cherokee because that obviously makes the best sense. So guys, I'm, I'm glad the hood didn't come down and smash me in the head. I'm glad we got some good usable camshafts for the 4.7 and hopefully in the future we'll get all these parts together. This will get me a little bit more motivated to finally fix the smoking Grand Cherokee and we won't look as ridiculous on the street and the trail and idling and, and everywhere, I guess. So thanks for coming out with me to the junkyard for a little junkyard power mods in Cheap Jeep. And guys, as always, thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys next time.